Hey everybody, what's up? Welcome back to another episode of Everything Kratom, the podcast about anything and everything Kratom. Great to have you with us on this Wednesday morning. Hope all is well. So here I am midweek through this trip and I'm getting worn down, you know, I'm like starting to get tired. Um, Not just physically tired, but you know, mentally. I'm like mentally exhausted at this point and we're only midweek. So, you know, this is kind of the change up. And it's good that I started the week off with more, you know, heavily on the greens because the greens are very helpful. Um, You know, green melee has been very helpful, but now I'm starting to find that I need something a little more, you know, I need a bit more of a boost because it's it's getting it's getting to be a lot of for the week and um the more help i have the better and so thanks to this you know the first two days of relying more on the greens um i'm probably you know i'm i'm finding that i'm more responsive to the white varieties of kratom right now than i was uh Uh, at the end of last week. So today I'm kind of switching over to now, um, you know, like I said at the beginning of this week, I'm going to be trying to take a break from the Indo White in particular because I like using that one a lot. Um, But I am going to be relying on my trusty friend White Thai. And also I'm going to be doing that fun uh, White Borneo and White Horn combination that we talked about last week because that was just so pleasantly helpful um, and something that I wasn't quite expecting at the time. Uh, if you didn't listen to that episode, you should check it out. I did it uh, sometime last week, and it was just talking about how white horn I don't typically use without you know something else, and I need something else to use with it. And then white Borneo uh, I haven't typically had much success with on its own. And but when I co- combined the two, it was just like pleasantly surprising and worked out great. So. As a, it's a, you know, it's Wednesday, it's a midweek thing. I'm going to be starting to switch my way over, do a change up, turn over to more white focus for these last, you know, couple days of the, the trip. Um, what's that going to look like? Well, I'm not going to cut green out entirely. So what I'm going to do is today I'm going to have a little bit of green melee. I'm going to have, uh, you know, maybe like half a gram of green melee and then um, have... Uh, a little bit of white horn in the morning with that and then midday I'm going to go with the white horn white Borneo and I'm going to see how that works Um, hopefully that will give me the boost that I need uh, because you know today's going to be very busy and one cannot uh, fret over uh, you know trying to stick with the greens when you need the whites so I'm just calling it as it is for myself and uh, I'm going to go with it. Um, I'll, I'll let you know tomorrow how that goes. And I think that, you know, as long as one is being mindful about how they utilize the different varieties of Kratom, that that's good. Because generally, I'm very careful about, you know, taking breaks from it just in case, you know, for some reason I find that I develop a habit or feel like there's some sort of possibility of addiction, even though both of those things I don't really find is true for me at least. Um, but it's always good to be mindful. So I think that the more you switch up what you're using, the better. And also if you take breaks, that's better as well. Um, I'm, you know, exercising both those and last week or at the beginning of last week, I had taken a break. Um, and, uh, and so I'm, I'm happy that, you know, I'm developing this awareness of what I'm using and how often. And I think that it's a good trick for anybody out there, but especially when you kind of have your whole uh, life switched up with something like a work trip, you really start realizing, you know, oh, I was really used to using that in that way, but I can't really do that today. And, you know, how does that make me feel? How does that affecting me? Does it really matter? And so what I'm finding is that, no, it doesn't really matter in terms of my my health or anything, but um, it's very helpful to me to know, okay, I was able to do this with greens for the first part of the week. It's getting really busy. Let's pull out the big guns. This is what they're here for, right? So that's what I'm going to be doing. And it's going to be more of a white focused second half of the week. Um, 
I can tell you right now, I haven't been using any red varieties of Kratom this trip. When I get finally get back to my room, I hit the pillow and go to sleep. <laughs> there's no reading. There's no hanging out. There's no reason to feel like, oh, I'm going to melt into my bed. It's like, no, I, there's not going to be an issue with that. <laughs> so I left the reds at home, everybody. All right. Well, I will keep you all up to date and uh, I'll talk to you again tomorrow. All right. Have a great day, you guys. Bye bye.